Hi, everybody. This is Kamala Murphy. Welcome to um, this episode of For the Love of Rumi. Uh, just want to invite you to um, settle in, take some deep breaths, and hopefully um, just allow the divine to um, touch your heart. Um, and welcome to everyone who's joining. So blessed to, to know you're on, on this uh, line with me. <sighs> so the last um, week or so has been really challenging for a lot of us. Um, I know for me, there's been a lot of anger and fire rising up. Um, and part of that is uh, along with the anger and then knowing that there's something that um, I'm meant to step into, I'm meant to do, there's also this fear of, oh my gosh, you know, I, one, I don't know what it is that I'm supposed to be doing, or if I do something that I know that I'm supposed to do, it's scary because how will it be taken, how will it be seen, blah, blah, blah. Ah. <sighs> So um, I have found a couple of pieces of Rumi poetry or writing that just felt so rich. Um, so I'd like to read those to you and talk, talk with you, share with you a little bit about them. And if you have comments, I really welcome them. I'd love to, um, if I can read them, I'll, I'll uh, speak about them. So the first... Dance when you're broken open. Dance if you've torn the bandage off. Dance in the middle of fighting. Dance in your blood. Dance when you're perfectly free. <sighs> and actually, I'm going to go ahead and read the, the second um, writing because it's it too is really important um, forget safety live where you fear to live destroy your reputation be notorious and that that be notorious is kind of exciting because you know don't a lot of us want to just be free to just be who we are and do the work we're meant to do. Um, so again, going back to this, this past week when so much has been riled up for me and knowing that there is, that this fire is actually a good thing, it may feel kind of crummy in the uh, short term, but it's it's important it gives the the juice to to get going um, and it's it's inviting us or it's invite uh, what i've noticed is it's inviting me to step into that place where i'm not so comfortable where the bandage has been ripped off um, not necessarily by me, but by the divine. So something has been ripped off. And I'm being asked to live where I fear to live. Um, so these, these hearings, um, judicial hearings and the, the uh, talking about Sexual assault, sexual abuse has stirred something for me. There's a lot of pain around abuses, assaults um, that have happened that, you know, shove them down, shove them down, shove them down. And for me, that you know, one of the first ones was, oh my gosh, from uh, almost 60 years ago. So you just don't talk about it. But it's important now that, that we speak about the things that have been shoved down, that we 
it's like I feel like it's we start to demand respect, and how do we demand respect is by standing up for ourselves and um, forgetting safety and living where you fear to live and destroying your reputation. So the other thing that has uh, been really up for me, and some of you <laughs> who have joined know about this, um, is I am grieving about something that's embarrassing to talk about. I am grieving the fact that I have, I'm aging, um, that my strategy has been to, you know, sort of lean back into being young and pretty, and I'm not anymore. And as silly as it may sound, you know, there's grieving here. And I was, I was sharing with a friend um, earlier today that, you know, there's something about that. We, um, we have counted on our youth and beauty. And in our, at least in the American culture, there's so much focus on being young and beautiful and that... I, I don't know what the exact figures are, but the cosmetic industries and the beauty industries are enormous. So there's um, this focus on youth and vitality and beauty. <sighs> and aging is a process. We all go through it. Um, and it's a little scary to recognize that that's that's where you are and and accept it accept that this is this is where I am and I'm no longer um, young and pretty but I'm mature and I have some uh, I saw personally I still have a lot of vitality <laughs> darn it I'm got I'm gonna use it and be appreciative of it so with today's um, today's video, it's or Facebook Live, um, for me it is about you know I'm not comfortable talking about the loss of youth and beauty, um, and I'm grieving that. And it's like it's so important for me to acknowledge that yeah, as a young young girl and as a young woman. Um, I was disrespected and you know and I sort of kept shut up about it and no more no more I want you know I don't want any young woman to feel ashamed I want her to feel strong and beautiful and and not even just young women I'm just like sorry I'm not just young women all women who have felt disrespected and put down, we get to stand up in, in our strength and in our power, the, uh, the blessings that we have been given, and be strong and amazing women. I'm actually feeling, I'm going to um, lower this, because there's a, a transmission happening so um, I'm going to invite you to take some deep breaths and feel the presence of the divine just coming into your heart giving you a strength and a power letting it rise up in you just inviting you to breathe and say yes to this. <sighs> Take it in. Allow the divine to mm, fill you with the light and strength to live out your purpose. To say, no, I won't be dismissed. No, I have something to say and I'm going to say it. And it doesn't have to be loud and uh, shouting and angry. It can be softer and gentler and powerful. 
So I invite you again just to breathe this in. Oh, I feel so many hearts just sort of opening up. Allow it to come in and fill you. And know, again, as the Rumi poem says, forget safety. You know, there, there isn't really a lot of safety out in the world anyway. It's an illusion. Live where you fear to live, because that's where you're being called to. That's what, where your power is, where God, the divine, is saying, go here, go here, live here, be who you are even if it's scary. Destroy your reputation. And for me, you know, it's like, you know, let's talk about getting older and how, you know, it's not, it's not a death sentence. Um, it may feel like it at times, but, you know, aging and we're going to die. But in the meantime, we're still vital. And if, if I get, knocked down or ridiculed for talking about aging and not being young and pretty anymore. Too bad. <laughs> Just so what? So maybe I would get to be notorious and what would that be like? So, oh, oh God. <sighs> I'm going to read both of these quotes again. I invite you to just... Um, let them open your hearts. Feel this love that's being transmitted that's just, oh, blessings to, to you, all of, all of us, all of the women in particular that we're going to be touching in the next several hours, the next several days, the next months, the coming, coming years. Be this strength and... Mm. Okay. <laughs> Dance. When you're broken open, dance if you've torn the bandage off, dance in the middle of the fighting, dance in your blood, dance when you're perfectly free. And this other, forget safety. Live where you fear to live. Destroy your reputation. Be notorious. Be notorious. And that gives me chills. How many of us could really use a chance to shake it off? Shake off all the, the shame, the guilt, the not enoughness and be notorious in your own way. I kind of think that would be fun. So that's going to be my, my goal for the next bit of time. Ah, oh, beloveds, thank you for joining me today. Uh, um, yeah, thank you. I hope you feel some nurturing, some strength. I hope you felt the transmission of love and desire for all of us to be lit up, you know, cast off the, the flame or the, um, the, the baskets that have hidden us to let our flames, our light just shine brightly. Ah, yeah. Again, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll see you next week and, um, and again, I just feel like if, if your heart has been hurting, if there's something you long to share, uh, I invite you to reach out to me. I'd love to hear what's on your heart. If you have comments, if there's something you know, you'd like to um, share more deeply, I'd love to hear about it. So I hope you'll reach out to me um, and I will talk to you soon. Blessings and blessings and blessings. Take care, beloveds, and see you soon. Bye.